All right, welcome back, everyone. Well, too many children are exposed to online video games, and this can also lead to a higher exposure of cybersecurity dangers. In fact, in Utah, police say a man started talking with a boy while playing an online game. Now they want to wear, aware, raise awareness of online safety, such as having open conversations with your kids. Kayla Baggerly tells us how to further protect children online. They're not going to go away. That's the most important thing to know. They are not going away. They're, they're educated and savvy on how to use these systems to get victims. That's what they do. And so the parents need to know that there is an enemy out there that they need to guard their children against. Detective Ken Hansen with the Unified Police Department says that although there is plenty of harmless communication online, parents need to be aware of the dangers that can present themselves. He says parents need to know that predators use multiple platforms to try and get in contact with children, including social media and ones parents might not think of as often, like online games. There's so many different platforms, social media and applications that kids can be on. So, you know, it's not just one, it can be a lot of them. He says predators can be persistent. The biggest things parents can do, learn about online platforms and have conversations about what children should look for. He says often predators will try to gain the child's trust and try to show interest in what they like. There are predators out there waiting to make that connection and they will spend days, weeks, months you know, working on these kids, kind of mirroring what the kids are interested in to try and, to try and get a victim. They'll put a lot of time into this. So it may take, it may just be one day, but a lot of times it's months. So they have to, the communication between the child and the parent is key so that they can catch these guys, you know, before they do anything. 